Okay, so I'm Bonnie and I'm going to be presenting Chapter 7 of Piers Anthony's novel Nightmare. And I am going to go over the vocabulary which I have taken from the chapter, defined and syllabicated, and it has the part of speech. So the vocabulary which I have taken from the chapter has the definition, syllabication, and part of speech, which we're going to have a test on later. So you should study them. And then there are sentence completions, which you'll do for homework using the vocabulary that we're going to go over. And there are comprehension questions on the chapter. So I'm going to pass out the packets. So let's go over the vocabulary, which we will have a quiz on later. Oh, and I'm also going to go over the summary. OK. Vocabulary. So repeat after me. Redoubtable. Redoubtable. Marshall. Marshall. Overture. Overture. Querulous. Querulous. Internecine. Internecine. Cogitate. 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 OK, so now we'll, we'll bounce the words, and then you can repeat after me, and then one person will um, say how many syllables and where the accent is. We'll go start here, and then front back. Done. OK, so it's redoubtable. Redoubtable. Marshall. Marshall. Over. Oh, wait, we, I didn't have you guys tell me. Okay. Redoubtable. <laughs> Madeline. Redoubtable. There are three, four syllables and an accent goes on the second. And then, rapport. Rapport. There are two syllables and a second syllable. Yes. Uh, the accent. Dissension. Dissension. There are three syllables and a second syllable. Cogitate. Cogitate. There are three syllables and the first syllable. Yes. So I'll go over the words again and go over the definition and part of speech, and we'll have a quiz after this. So, redoubtable, formidable, uh, adjective, martial. Transitive verb to array as for battle. Overture, noun, an introductory proposal or offer. Querulous, full of complaint, peevish. Rapport, noun. Connection, especially harmonious or sympathetic relation. Dissension, noun. Disagreement, phalanx, noun. An fields joined. Fester, intransitive verb to putrefy or rot, facetious, adjective, lacking serious intent, incursion, noun, an invasion array. So if you guys can flip to the back page of your packets, or second, under the comprehension questions, if you would like. Under the multiple, under the multiple yeah. So it's the second to last page. In the front. And number one through five. In the dark, it was difficult to ascertain whether her shirt was navy blue or black. Ascertain. Oh, repeat after me. Ascertain. Ascertain. In ancient Greece, the infantry overlapped their shields and spears to form a phalanx. Phalanx. Repeat after me. Phalanx. You can smell the festering garbage from ha a mile away. Festering. Okay, after the incursion of the country, there was a lot of damage. Incursion. Incursion. So, let's go over the summary of the chapter, which is only broken up into three parts. So, while I'm giving my summary, make sure to write down any themes that you can think of that like applies universally to the world. So I picked out a quote from the chapter that I thought was kind of interesting. So it's, but we do have scruples, King Dor said. Perhaps that is what distinguishes us from the mun mundanes. We shall maintain that distinction. So the overview, my precede. In chapter seven, the mundanes and Xanthians have their first battle, but just as when victory seemed imminent for the 
home team, King Dor is taken. Ichabod, Imbri, and Grundy had just returned from spying on the Mundanes, and Ichabod reveals that they are actually Carthaginian mercenaries, and other magical creatures refuse to help them out, so they're on their own. And then while King Dor is preparing, Queen Iris is in her room and she's projecting her image out onto the village, the North Village and the nearby center village, um, Irene, because they needed an heir to the throne. But in the end, King, uh, Queen Iris actually fell in love with King Trent, but he doesn't know. Grundy asks the Harpy to go spy on the mundanes for them so they can get some more information. And at first, she refuses, but then she's convinced when um, Grundy promises, promises her the delicious corpse that are going to be available after the battle. But then dark comes and the mundanes retreat. And during the nighttime, King Dor is taken. Yeah. And that is my presentation.